Hello and welcome back to another video. So I decided to uh, crack Veritex out once again at the uh, old oak games cupboard. And uh, I really do like this one from Asmic. It's uh, certainly a nice shooter. I'm not saying it's the greatest game in the world, but it's one that I've grown particularly fond of, having originally bought it from Ian Wilson for £20 many, many moons ago. So uh, let's crack on with a bit of gameplay, shall we? Oops. Not entirely necessary to waste your bombs at the beginning there. A shaky start. Let's see if we can make some kind of recovery. Oh, just grabbing the shield. Well, it's not started well. So we'll see what we can do. Let's hold out some hope. It is unfortunately one of those shoot em ups that. Uh, when you get so far into it, when you lose your power-ups, it becomes increasingly difficult to progress any further. Pretty standard fare for this kind of thing, really. It's probably slightly fairer than, say, Gradius. But narrow margins, narrow margins. But the soundtrack actually composed by the same guy who was responsible for Midnight Resistance. Uh, he's very well regarded. So, again I feel this has got a bit of a Christian feel to it, the music in places. I don't know what it is. I always, I always, I always mention this about uh, Mega Drive shoot'em ups. So it's always elements of it, I feel. So, nevertheless. It just builds and builds a soundtrack. So, uh, in terms of that, it's a job well done. I've always been impressed with the music, especially the 16 bit platforms with the limitation, how they managed to loop everything back in so convincingly. You know, if it was done well, like this game, it's pretty much unnoticeable. Now the backgrounds here, I always love this sort of parallax effect, it, it really does get confusing. It really does give that uh, 3D feel, especially if you stare at it too long. So, definitely something to watch out for. Of course this is very popular in shooting ups and great depth of field as the enemy scales in. Nicely done here. I mean I have made several gameplays about this game before. Probably mentioned exactly the same things. So that's what happens when you're old. Keep repeating yourself. If you're not there yet, you potentially get there at some point. There we go. Gonna take or oh, is it worth the risk? No. That's it, the risk factor was there. Didn't we really waste any more bombs? Looks like I've got five at my disposal. I can't remember how easily game they are, but quite a, quite a rush there from the enemy. It certainly keeps you on your toes. It's just something about this, I think, uh, playability-wise. It's got a lot going for it. There we go, come up to the first boss. Massive sprite. Strange attack pattern to begin. It does change up. And I especially enjoy the music in this section here. Very spacey feel to it. Intergalactic tunes. Feels like I'm in peril. Watch out for the other one as it gets loose. It's a little, little bit like an air and nice, nice use of subtle shading there. Not shading, not like that. <coughs> scaling. <coughs> so 
a sneaky one that's coming in from behind now. That's all that's left to worry about, though. And that flying, whatever it was, space station has been downed. Oh. Just thinking, I've been holding it all the time. Which button's for fire? Just found out. The opposite one to the bomb that I pressed. Oh, this enemy. Oh, I've spoke about this so many times. Oh, I really don't want the big laser. I really prefer a spread weapon, personally. This should be Arts oh, Shield. I've missed it. Damn. That's the option for the spread weapon back. I've replenished my shield there, but it's too late to be concerned about that at this point. And I uh, absolutely love this. See through the terrain there. And, uh, you can see space below it. Fantastic effect. Simple, but uh, very impressive. Well, I've got quite a wide array of fire power at this point. can change the speed of your craft. It might be advisable to go for the middle speed, but then again, I do like to just jolt about. More missiles. Is it even possible to have any more missiles? I might be looking at max missiles at this point, surely. Don't take it for granted. Honestly. One stray bullet. One wrongful encounter. It could be all over. A massive tank enters the enters the fray. I think bring out the bombs because this thing looks scary. Double bombing. It's coming in, it's in closing, I don't like this. It's fortunate. Fortunate I had a good stock of bombs there, I think. Because, uh, tell me that's a shield. I don't think it is. Well, I've still got the shield, obviously, but you know. Nice to be in full panic mode. certainly doesn't mess about when it comes to throwing sprites around. We're seeing uh, an awful lot of on-screen action and I think one of them rockets just hit me. If we had some sort of action replay feature and we'd see that. <gasps> that was nearly head-to-head -head as well. Very closely contested. More missiles, surely not. We've got about 16 way missiles at the minute. Which is handy because uh, what I'm not seeing is the volume of traffic from behind. Oh no, not the laser. Didn't really want it. It's, it's rude to call it a laser, it's just a series of blocks. Oh, please give me the spread weapon. Well, it could be good for the boss. Oh me, double hit straight away, it's not good. Get bombs out quick. Oh no! Oh no! Right, now we'll see. See how bad things can be. Gotta use these bombs here, because you just can't cope with the things coming from behind. With minimum firepower. Oh shit! Damn! So much going on when you're underpowered. Some serious steering required. You've got to not only, obviously, control what's happening on front, but uh, also behind. And because of the vertically scrolling nature, <coughs> you're getting mopped up pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm so in a lot of trouble. The only hope is to. When that swarm comes from behind, use the bomb move and hope it gets me through it. Of course, I've got to get back there first, of course. Of course, of course, Henry the Horse. And, uh, it was going well, it was going well. It was just that uh, life loss at the beginning there, but a momentary lapse of concentration. And uh, I found myself in a terrible jam. Okay, is that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Double. Got me through that wave. Okay. That's a technique you can employ. Ooh, 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 
Come on, give me some power ups. No, no suicide bombers, please. Yes. Will that help? Yes, slightly. So there's something coming out the back there. Absolute godsend, especially on this stage. Come on. What have we got? Oh no, I'll put that bloody thing up again. What a monkey. No, there's hardly any rear fire either. I should pay more attention. There's no bombs. That means I'm in a lot of trouble with these lasers. Now there's a massive blow come out of it. That's what killed me last time. Risking it with a big laser. <gasps> oh my! Wow. Who'd have funk it? At last. A little bit of strategy. I managed to clear Act 2. So. Free. Look at these clouds. Future map. Did you get this far in? What sort of rating are you giving these clouds? Probably mentioned it before. Get rid of this stream of. Yeah, I prefer that. Third spread. I know where I'm at with that. Wow. Serious hardware. It's being fired upon me now. The, ar the array of different. Uh, enemies in this game and the quality of the, uh, the pixel work it's, uh, it's fantastic it really is I don't know how well rated this game is at this point but uh, to me it's a really enjoyable game really enjoyable yes let's go for some quavers salt of vinegar quavers are back Look at that, that's a lovely bit of scaling. Horrible enemy. Oh, I've lost my shield to this. Damn. I'm in trouble, will he just go away? No, nothing just goes away in this game. We go to the death. Oh my, you can't get much closer than that. But music just keeps delivering. Hopefully it's not too loud, but hopefully it's loud enough. It's a difficult, uh, difficult balance. Yeah, it's a difficult balance. Got one bomb left on the looks of things. Oh my. You really have to say to centre screen as well in case there's any rear attacks. Oh, shield's back in town. Get him. Don't pick up the laser, that's the strategy. Don't pick up the laser. M. That wasn't laser, was it? Nah. Solid, solid orange is good. Wow. Whole lot of clouds. This whole city has been sunken. The roads were obviously quite well elevated though. You can see they, they were nearly as high as the top of skyscrapers. Ooh. This is looking troublesome. The Raideness. Double boss. I've seen nothing come out of them yet, but... Oh, sugar me. Sugar me! Oh, I'm not as fast as them! No. Tell the hitboxes on these things. Absolutely massive sprites though, just not a, a hint of slowdown. Huh. Hey, beast. One down. Two down. Is that just a mid-level? That was Act 3. 
that free. And away we go. Well, we have a downward spiral, but uh, so far... Uh oh No, he's picked up laser. Get rid of that straight away. Let's look for a shield. Very confusing on the eye this game. It, uh, it tries a lot of different sort of uh, different effects. They do work well, but uh, add to the complexity of managing the game. I want quavers. Oh, I don't think that powerful. I've got them now. What have we got oh, there though? What's that? Oh, that's bloody laser. Is that what we didn't want? to the face though, just seem to actually do the job there. It's handy. <gasps> so sneaky. Oh, and he's giving it the old uh, wibble wobble. Impressive stuff. God, I've had another laser. Still got it. Is that none laser? Yes. I mean, yes, it does get you out of jam. More comfortable. Do I? I don't know. For those bigger guys, maybe laser is best, but. A bit more angles covered here at the minute. I'm going to get them all a bit more aggressive with their firing, I'm sure. <gasps> oh, whole squadron coming in. Oh, I've been wiped out. It's game over. Uh, so I just got a bit too comfortable there. So uh, there we go. That's quite an extended look, actually. 17 minutes, 32 of the wonderful Veritech. So that's it for now. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll load some more videos soon.